Hey everyone, so this is how I make my breakfast enchiladas. You're going to want to start out with one pound of breakfast sausage and then about a half teaspoon of garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. Next, you're going to want to add one cup of flour. I used all purpose. And then go ahead and mix it up really well and make sure that all of the sausage is coated. Now, pour in four cups of milk and you can either whisk it or stir it until thickened. And now that our gravy is all done, we're going to go ahead and give it one more little stir before briefly setting aside. And a big shout out to Kitchenetics. I use their amazing bakeware and kitchenware every single day. These vibrant trivets are just as beautiful as they are functional. And now it's time for the filling. So go ahead and add a liberal drizzle of olive oil to a cast iron skillet over medium heat. And then crack nine eggs into a large bowl before adding a quarter cup milk, a half cup bacon, followed by one cup of bell peppers, cored and chopped, as well as one cup of tomatoes, also cored and chopped, one cup of cheddar cheese, one cup of red onions, and a half cup of smoked cubed ham. And for the spices, we're going to add about one teaspoon of rubbed sage, garlic powder, smoked paprika, ancho chili powder, salt, and pepper and give it a good mix before pouring into the hot pan and scrambling. And the most effective way I've found of making scrambled eggs is to actually use a rubber spatula to push the outsides towards the center. And there you go! And now we need our warm tortillas and I just wrap them in a damp paper towel and microwave them for about 30 seconds. Spread half of the gravy mixture over the bottom of an oven-safe baking dish. Oh, whoops. <laughs> there we go. Let's face it, messes in the kitchen are gonna happen. You just gotta clean it up and move on. Next, we're gonna take two of our tortillas and fill them with about a half cup to two thirds cup of the filling. Wrap them up and place them over the gravy. Continue to fill the rest of the tortillas until the baking dish is full. And I was cooking for a crowd, so I made enough to fill two baking dishes. Next, we're going to go ahead and add about a half cup of enchilada sauce. And you can use store-bought or homemade, they both work great. Next, add a drizzle of sour cream, and then about a half cup of cheese, I chose cheddar. But Cotija or Monterey Jack are just as delicious. and I'm gonna fill up this second baking dish before popping them both in the oven. Once they're all filled, we're going to go ahead and bake uncovered at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. And there you have it, a delicious, hearty breakfast that everyone will love.